Is China preparing for war? The country has decided to spend $225 billion on defense this year. I repeat, $225 billion. Why would it spend so much? Well, why do you invest in an umbrella before the monsoon season? Or why do you invest in heavier blinds before summer arrives? And why do you decide to increase defense spending? Obviously, to prepare for war. And China has decided to increase its defense spending by as much as 7.2%. The announcement was made in the NPC, the National People's Congress, that is China's rubber stamp parliament, which happens to be in session. Its outgoing premier, Li Keqiang, has said, and I'm quoting, the armed forces should intensify military training and preparedness across the board, develop new military strategic guidance, devote greater energy to training under combat conditions. In other words, get war ready. What war then is China really preparing for? During his address, Li Keqiang made a reference to the Ladakh standoff. He said, and I'm quoting, they carried out operations in a firm and flexible way and they effectively conducted major missions relating to border defense, maritime rights protection, counter-terrorism and stability maintenance. Of course, the words Ladakh or India were not used. But the phrase border defense was a hint enough. So could the increase in defense spending be aimed at Ladakh? Is it a war with India that China is planning? The fingers actually point at Taiwan. Experts believe China wants to invade Taiwan as soon as possible. Taiwan believes this could be as early as 2027. China's rehearsals are on in full swing. Beijing has made the violation of Taiwanese air defense zone the new normal. Just yesterday, in fact, Taiwan's defense minister warned about a sudden entry of Chinese forces. But this year in the report to parliament, I'm specifically emphasizing this. I think they are in the middle of preparation. Preparation for what? Preparations to use force in the future if they really have to. Which brings me to my next question. As the Chinese checkbook oils the war machine and as the dragon prepares for war, is Taiwan prepared for what is increasingly looking like an inevitable future? Also, what about the other countries? Are they arming up equally? If there is a war in Taiwan, the first stray bullets will likely land in Japan. A. Proximity. B, the country is an American ally. Last year, Japan doubled its military spending in a new five-year defense plan. Japan's Prime Minister Fumio Kishida called the move the quote-unquote turning point of the national security policy. But was that enough? Because speaking strictly in terms of defense spending, no country in the South China Sea comes even close to matching China's military might. South Korea spends around $42 billion on defense, Taiwan $19 billion, the Philippines a little over $4 billion, Singapore $12 billion, Malaysia nearly $4 billion. You get my point here. The Dragon, on the other hand, is the world's second largest defense spender. Which country tops the chart? The United States of America. This year, it is spending as much as, 80, as much as $816 billion on defense. $816 billion. And where is India? Its defense budget is around $72.6 billion. China's is three times higher and more. And now Beijing has decided to increase its defense spending for the eighth consecutive year. And this is all happening under Xi Jinping, the man who is uh, become to embody unilateral aggression. Besides being the Chinese president, he's also the head of China's military. So should the world be worried? This is what China has to say.
The future of China is closely linked to the future of the world. China's military modernization does not pose a threat to any country, but rather is a positive force for maintaining regional stability and world peace. And by now, you and I know better than taking China's word for it. We know that China has its eyes set on the South China Sea. It also wants to control remote countries in the Indo-Pacific. Xi Jinping has already promised to build a world-class force by the year 2027. The deadline coincides with the PLA's 100th anniversary, also matches the estimated timeline for the Taiwan takeover. Is that what the boost in defense spending is all about? Well, it looks likely. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the updates on the move.